I'm going to show the extension to clutching feathers, both the base and the extension. Uh, this works for a hair grab with the left hand. And a hair grab is a great way to control someone. Uh, generally, someone that grabs your hair, they want to grab and like kind of pull and pull you in. But before they do that, they need to get a, a good firm grip of the grab. So it's not like, you know, Matt comes up to me and just does this. He needs to reach to grab me, which elongates the arm that's going to set me up for the target race. Okay, so, so on this particular one, he's leaning on me as he grabs my hair. Now, it's usually taught in Kempo to, I'll, actually I'll turn this way for this part of it. It's usually taught in Kempo to pin the hand kind of this way. But if you notice, his right hand has a free access to my nose or jaw. So even though I'm still pinning, um, my face is wide open. So I'm gonna do kind of a, a bit more of what we do in Gracie Jiu Jitsu with it. I drop to this, so I can still see, and it's very difficult for that hand to get through with the right punch, because I view this as they're grabbing me left, but they really want to hit me with the right. So as they're leaning on me, I'm going to pin, step, and cock. So I'm not going to go uh, like this, because I, 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 I don't have any torque in that strike. So if you think about me backing up like this, there's no backup mass. So I want to compensate it by, as he's leaning, getting my base so my shoulders are towards him, and I have this tight, and then as I unwind, boom, that's where the middle knuckle strike is gonna, gonna come, rather than just striking already from my neutral bow. Okay, so if we watch that again, he leans, I pin step and I pop, I pin it tight. This hand is chambered at my, at my hip, so as I unwind, my middle knuckle strikes to the armpit. Now this is like a frictional pull. I'm gonna do a vertical outward to an extended. And with this hand, it's gonna, hammer fist the nose, but as it does, I'm gonna hammer the groin and heel scoop to the groin and move away, okay? So normally, the base ends at the hammer fist to the nose. Some will stop it at the heel palm, but the extension is very short. I just follow through, I reorbit, hammer the groin. Maybe his hands hold where it hurts, so maybe the heel scoop might get the fingers, that's okay too, okay? So he grabs and he leans, pin step and cock. A lot of power here, I'm gonna hit right in the nerves. And then as I clear, palm hits. This isn't a real power shot, it's more of a range to set me up for this strike and to, to uh, cancel the right hand. Do this all one motion. The hammer hits, a nice strike. Now I'll do that one more time, clutching feathers, pin step cock, and I, I hit with that strike. This strike hits, I make my strike. And I move away. And that is clutching feathers.